segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's BTS vlog. So far, we've been able to uh, start doing a daily vlog. It's coming out daily, so this is the beginning uh, of <laughs> the day's vlog. And I'm laughing because, once again, just because it's a day vlog, uh, once a day, it doesn't necessarily mean it's one single day in terms of uh, the date. So, uh, uh, yesterday's vlog was uh, the 6th and the 7th. Today's going to be 7th and the 8th because uh, I didn't get up until just about 8 o'clock in the... Uh, yeah, it was 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, went out and did some food shopping. It was dark by that time, so there was no way to... Way to I couldn't really bring the camera. Uh, I'm not sort of in the position right now to do uh, peripatetics at night in terms of... Uh, trying to trying to experiment with that. that I am going to, going to experiment with it in terms of trying to film at night under the street lights. But that's not going to happen just yet inside of uh, uh, inside the show Meditations. Uh, that's going to be left for uh, a future date. So no Meditations tonight because uh, in terms of uh, the show because uh, it was dark out when I went food shopping. So that I got back, unpacked everything and now I'm just sort of uh, on the computer uh, uh, bringing down inf uh, information from the satellites uh, from the GOES satellites uh, so I can get my uh, observations done tonight uh, for uh, in a few, in, actually about, about an hour or so I'll be going out uh, and starting the observations for uh, tonight's uh, atmospheric physics project so it's the same project, the same or, or, or the OR project that's, that's still going on uh, I've got better viewing than I did last, uh, than I did uh, the night before. Uh, I'm getting a better understanding, better feel for things. I've got some new stuff I've got on the tablet now that will give me a better sense of things. So uh, tonight's OR vlog should be a little bit better than it was uh, the night previous. The night's previous was basically an introduction. All right, so. And uh, yeah, so we're doing a daily vlog. That's on the go now. Uh, the first night it's already, uh, it's the, which was basically October 5th, it's been just now finished in the editing bay. I'll be doing the 6th and 7th, uh, just as I go back there now, I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's still the morning for me. And um, I'll probably get back to you probably sometime around 1 o'clock in the morning. It'll be the next uh, segment of uh, Big Bang Theory RL. That's when we're outside and see, let's see what we can get done tonight. And then the weekend is kind of shot because I have a wedding, and then uh, on Monday, I'm going up to Mars Alpha. So that's going to be a thing as well. So you're going to see uh, uh, multiple locations. You'll see uh, a variety of different uh, uh, things go on uh, in the vlog. So in other words, the vlogs themselves, the, uh, the uh, BTS vlog, um, and the other vlogs, uh, uh, well, the meditations, the shows, they're going to start coming along. Uh, I've done the first bit of work for uh, tweet lines. I bring tweet lines back on a regular basis. I'll be doing more tonight. We'll see how much work I can get out done in the outdoor office. Let's try to get that operational uh, on, a, on a better level. Last night it worked pretty well. Uh, but I want to improve the efficiency of the outdoor office. This is it. You set up the office, you get it functional. And once you get it functional, you start working on the efficiency of the office. Try to get it get to get to do more and more out there while you're doing the other you know while you're doing that observational work if you can get other work done at the same time then that's good as well so uh, that's kind of where we're going with things uh, and it, you know it, it these things do take time it does take you know this is something that you, you don't jump into immediately and this is well it's mid-october now it's better than it was last year but uh, not in my uh, not in my target really uh, in terms of getting 
really getting the schedule tightened up uh, the way it should have been. I was hoping for mid, uh, mid, mid September, mid, but that didn't happen. It's now almost uh, mid October, and the schedules are starting to come together. The the uh, Cyber Graph of TV is starting to come together, starting to be becoming more functional, more of a reality. So these are things that, that still have to be worked on. They still have to be pushed forward a little bit more. Uh, and we'll see what happens for the remainder of the night. Um, uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm waiting. Uh, what should be happening now is that there are two storms uh, sort of uh, coming toward each other. If you can see there on the screen here just a little bit, I don't know if I can point it out. Near the bottom of the screen here, this is to the uh, where I'm pointing with my finger is right now. That's to the east of the Great Lakes. Uh, this is to the west. Of, this line of uh, storm system is to the west of the Great Lakes. Here's Lake Ontario, and these two systems, this leading edge here down at the bottom that's coming up is the leading edge of uh, Hurricane Matthew, and this is another system, and they should merge at some point over uh, Lake Ontario, so I should be able to see that sometime tonight. Uh, 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 the way this is going now, it's 10 o'clock, this is the images that came out the satellite, the satellite's about a half hour late. I would say if I get out there between uh, between 11 and 1, sometime between 11 and 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, the system should come in, and I should be able to see something. Maybe, maybe I'll also be able to film something as well. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, never know. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, but uh, at least I've got a, I've got about a half hour to eat and get outside. So uh, I'm going to go do that now, and I will see you outside. Uh, in our observational office. All right, see you then. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the next segment of Big Bang Theory's Big Bang Theory Rails BTS vlog. Yeah, I'm out here. Uh, let me get the uh, time and date for you. I got my bag right here. Because I'm set up to do other work, but what's happening is the battery is dying on here. I think I'm gonna have to do something about the battery. It is currently one hour and 48 minutes into the day of uh, Saturday, October 8th, uh, 2016. Yeah. Oh, so, let's get the phone back into the bag. And I decided I was going to wait till the end of the night to, to vlog. I'm going to be waiting in here again about 4 o'clock in the morning. But I think I'll, I'll vlog when I get inside the do the rest of the, uh, the BTS vlog because. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, the battery appears to be dying. It's going a lot faster than I expected it to go, so, uh, I'm not going to wait till, uh, mm, what to call it, till 4 o'clock to do the vlog, so I'll do it now. I didn't vlog until about, I think it was that, I was vlogging 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock was the last, the, the first segment that was on the, on the, uh, no, it was 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock was on the, uh. 8 o'clock I was on the bench, I pulled the information down, went to have breakfast, and then after uh, breakfast I came out here just about uh, 11.30, and then uh, didn't vlog because the clouds that I was tracking didn't come in until just about quarter to one, I mean, yeah, so about 12.45. Uh, the clouds I'm watching now, they're just moving over. They're starting to move overhead. Uh, they came in about a uh, quarter to one, so it's been about, uh, if it's uh, 10 to 2, right, uh, one hour and 48 minutes into the day, then uh, it's just about two hours. It's taken about two hours for the clouds to move in fully overhead. And they're now a solid blanket of clouds almost. There's enough space in between, but uh, still good anyways. The office is working well. It's actually, you know, uh, this is the whole testing part of the whole test here is to see not only can I do the observation on here, but I've got other office work to get done, and the, the office work is getting done, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm doing the work on the atmospheric physics. I'm getting the work done on the channel. Uh, <laughs> I just finished filming... Uh, uh, the first part of uh, the next or vlog, so uh, one is already on the uh, is inside. It's, it's going to go over to an editing bay soon. That's one of the issues. Right now, there's a bit of a backup on the editing bay, but I've sort of fixed that up, 
and sort of tweak the efficiency on the editing bay, and I should say the editing bays, because there's now two editing bays, not just one. So the goal is to start ramping up production, start, start ramp, ramping up the efficiency of what is what's getting done, so I can actually produce more content. So uh, I think uh, that's going to have to be done tomorrow. Uh, a large chunk of it's going to have to be finished up tomorrow. Uh, uh, so there's going to be a little bit delayed tonight in terms of what I actually get out. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, before I'd have to go to bed after I walked, because right? I, came, I came back, I said I, it, was, it was 8 o'clock when we talked, I was on the computer, I pulled the information off the computer uh, for the, uh, for the uh, satellite. I've got, so my bag, I have my bag here with, with, the, with the laptop and everything, with the, sort of with the, uh, with, net, with the uh, tablet in it. And so the tablet itself doesn't have a connection to uh, a connection to uh, the internet, but it does have Wi-Fi, and I can actually tether the uh, phone to um, the. I can tether the phone. To, uh, uh, to the, the, the to actually tether the uh, tablet to the phone, and this is actually what I was looking at. This is a still. Okay, this is a still here. Let me see if I can get myself in the, in, in the here and sort of get everything organized. Here we go. I can actually see myself in the camera now. If I point to the there, that's Hurricane Matthews. Here is next to the west of Hurricane Matthews. That's to this way. That is to my right. There is a line from Mexico. Here's a bunch of storms right over Mexico. There, uh, a lot of moisture comes in from the Gulf Gulf of Mexico out to the Pacific coast of Mexico. That's where on Baja California is too. You go up here. There's a line of yellow. It's up here as well. And Lake Ontario and Lake Erie are sort of in the center of these two things. And so what I'm waiting for and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the sort of the the interaction between these two systems. I said, this is what I was, this is, this is my office out here. And I was able to do this, I was able to sort of get this done. And do the vlog showing the graphics of this image. You can see, I'll actually show uh, with the, uh, on the vlog, I do a better explanation. I also do, uh, show you uh, two different, two different uh, 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 looped images, sort of like a, a mini movies that show uh, the various different layers of clouds that are out there. And as I said, the work can get done. Uh, I have work for INN for Tweetline Plus. That can be done on there as well. I can do work out here, take a pic, you know, I can do, uh, I can watch RT, uh, take Photoshop's uh, snapshot screen caps of what I need, do a vlog out here like this in front of the camera talking about what I'm, about the image here, uh, and voila, we have something going up to the internet for Tweetline Plus. And so this this is how the office actually functions out here. This is how my regular work that I would normally be doing on the other side gets done. Uh, it's because I'm out here doing this type of work. So, uh, and so the office is working. And so now it's a matter of bringing all the different bits and pieces together and producing more videos uh, for Cyborg Alpha TV Network for all the different channels that are in there. And that's going to happen over this month. Over this month, over the month of October, Cyborg Alpha TV Network is going to get going. It's going to get become functional. So, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and I will see you in the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Rails, uh BTS Log. And remember, we're trying to vlog again every day. So look for daily vlogs. Uh, they should be coming up. They're going to be a bit of a delay. They can be coming up a little bit late in, uh, in the beginning simply because there's a backlog on the editing base and once I clear that backlog up then uh, things will start being on a more scheduled basis so uh, I'll see you uh, in a couple of, yeah in a couple hours all right well hello everybody welcome back to the uh, next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory where else we Big Bang Theory on the BTS vlog. Yeah. Good morning. Okay. Yeah, it's technically...
<laughs> technically, it's technically morning 11 because I'll, you'll see what type of morning it is. It is zero hours and 26 minutes into the day of Sunday, October 9th, uh, 2016. Yeah, it's a little after midnight. <laughs> so technically, it's a.m. Uh, this uh, I am somewhat just getting up. I've already started the day. Sometimes it's not possible right when I get out of bed, as I've done before. Uh, and I forgot to vlog last night when I did get, end up going to bed. But then again, I didn't end up going to bed fully until oh, just about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 2, 3 o'clock two, in the afternoon. That's when I went, finally ended up going to bed. Uh, so, uh, the vlog for that day is probably going to be a little bit short. Because I didn't end up uh, filming... Uh, one of the segments, usually uh, in order to get a, a good half decent vlog, uh, a size of a vlog uh, on a daily basis, ugh, on a daily basis, usually you need to uh, uh, get at least three good clips in there f um, you know, to do that. So if you do, let's say, three nine hour, three, three nine minute clips, it's uh, 28 minutes. That's that suffices for a half hour of uh, daily vlogs, but if you can't get that in there, then um, you have to do more. <laughs> so, uh, as I do, I'm gonna be making that effort effort to move toward toward the daily vlog. Um, like I said I still have to uh, do some more work on the editing bay and the base and get things more coordinated. Uh, but that's that, that's gonna happen tonight. I have a night off. I'm not going to be going outside tonight. Uh, I probably will pop out uh, uh, for about an hour or so just to sort of uh, get a feel for things around 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we'll, I'll do a small observation session between 3 and 4. Uh, but what's happening right now is, is that, and this is sort of uh, where things are, is Hurricane Matthews is further up. It's, I don't know if you can see on the screen here. Uh, my screen is kind of small, but uh, right here, where my index, where my pinky finger is, that's Hurricane Matthews right now. It's it's uh, it's it's large enough that it's significantly in the only lake you can actually see here is Lake Erie. Uh, lake Ontario is completely covered, but you would think that there would be a lot of cloud cover. And this, this the whole white part here doesn't necessarily mean there is cloud cover. Um, that just means there's high intensity. That the, 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 the reflection, the the IR reflection, is uh, significant, so that uh, uh, you could take a, a picture with it uh, from the satellite. So um, it also doesn't mean there's a higher, it's a higher density, a higher density cloud. So I went outside just briefly, just popped my head out, and there weren't as many clouds as I would expect. The clouds are more likely to not uh, are higher layer, and um, so what I'm seeing outside is that we're primarily on the edge of the system. We're we're, we're not in the heart of uh, Hurricane Matthew. I don't think we're going to get the heart of Hurricane Matthew. I think we're getting we're, we're getting the edges of uh, Hurricane Matthew. So the, the, wait, no, wait, here we have the uh, the north northwestern tip of Hurricane Matthew. If you can see, if you follow up here, there's there's that red there's that red the yellow red line that goes all the way up here, up here to the uppermost right of the picture. That's the uh, north north the northeast corner of the uh, map uh, of the picture. That is Baffin Island and. That's where everything is heading. You can sort of see that, that there's a sort of a direction where everything is going in that direction. So, uh, it's starting to siphon off. The uh, the storm is being uh, slowly weakened as uh, the energy, uh, the the heat within the system is being siphoned off to the northern part of the uh, uh, of the world. So basically, what you're seeing is you're seeing a transfer of uh, of heat and uh, particularly moisture. Because this heat is actually transported in moisture, it's transported in water vapor, and what we're seeing is we're seeing that transfer of that materials from the tropics to the poles. As I was talking about before, there's always some degree of interaction between the tropics and the poles in terms of transferring uh, uh, materials, and it's following basic the basic principles 
of physics, you know, thermodynamics, that you have hot flowing to cold. Uh, but as you can see, sort of uh, over to the left here, and this is why you've got to be careful with certain things, is that the heat down here is not the same as it up there. So in other words, the, the you, you could take the the, uh, the the color coding, which is a false color coding. This is a false color coding, and it's often known as thermal IR. You could take that and say, okay, yeah, 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 that's heat. And so, therefore, you've got heat up here. But if you go, actually go do the temperature, there's a significant temperature difference. Uh, this could be almost freezing up here. Well, this is fairly warm down below, right? So, uh, I could uh, I'll be doing this in the IR vlog, going over the differences uh, in the temperature by going to the actual uh, uh, the weather stations. Uh, that are there, and there's enough uh, uh, that I can find that I can get point-to-point -point, uh, uh, temperature readings. Uh, the next goal is also to get uh, pressure readings as well. So that's where the project is eventually going to go and start looking at uh, more location. I've got my location here more or less set. I've got the timings uh, sort of lined up to see other okay where the lag is in in in, in the uh, satellite because there's a difference between the satellite pictures what you see and what you see outside because. Uh, these images come in after what you see, right? So they come in from the satellite. They're fi they're 15 minutes apart. Uh, by the time it gets out to the public, uh, this is about this image we're seeing here is about 30 minutes delayed. So there's a 30 minute difference between uh, what you see outside and uh, what you're seeing on the computer. So uh, this is kind of the correlation. This is why the observation is actually important. And uh, so you can do that correlation. Once you have this correlation, you can take this understanding of the local observ observation that you've done and then transport it towards or extend it or extrapolate it towards up to other areas so that you can now get a broader picture uh, of what's actually going on. So that's kind of where we are right now. But uh, it's not going to be done here in this locale uh, uh, starting Monday, Monday, I will be up north in uh, Mars Alpha. Uh, that's my new uh, research location that's uh, being slowly developed. Uh, I'll give you a tour of it. So, so, so we are moving into a new facility, but we're not leaving this one. We're adding. And hopefully over the winter as well, we'll be adding a third location uh, for research. So uh, <laughs> we'll kind of, you know, you'll, you'll see how the the expansion goes this year. Every year there's a degree of expansion. There's a degree of, uh, of sort of moving up. And that's what's happening again this year. There's a, there's a degree of expansion. Uh, and it's sort of the, the hard part is just paying for everything. Make sure you, your budgets are on schedule and uh, that you get the proper money, 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 money coming in. Oh, uh, there's a lot of different things to sort of sit down and work on. So I'm going to leave this here for now. It's time for a bit of breakfast. And I've got the hiccups. And I will see you probably in a couple hours uh, for the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's uh, BTS vlog. And as says now we're doing it daily. So this is what you can expect. And so the day begins now. And this is the bar. This is where things get bizarre. The beginning of the day is just about, well, uh, 1230. It's, it's, it's 1230 in the morning. So we're starting uh, fundamentally at midnight. So the day is going to, actually today is going to be really long. Because I do have a wedding tonight, so it, there's going to be a fair amount to put in there. So there might be this might be actually in two two vlogs. Uh, we'll kind of have to sort of play up here and sort of see how things go. But I probably I might I might I might not vlog too much at the wedding. Uh, it depends on how tired I feel. You know, if, if I'm really you know knocked out, then yeah, I'm not going to vlog. But if I do have some time a chance to vlog at the wedding, I might put a couple clips in here or there. All right. So I will see you uh, in a few hours for the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Else BTS Vlog. All right, take it easy. Well, I've got a few minutes now. Let me just adjust the camera here. I've got a few minutes now to uh, film a vlog. So uh, this is our uh, <laughs> next part of the vlog. It's part of the same day. The day, this is going to be a very long day. I did take a bit of a rest, take a nap. I'm all dressed now because I'm going to church and then I have a wedding afterwards. So that's going to take up a majority of the day. So uh, this is one day that is, is going to contain two days. In other words, it's two days run together. Uh, it's kind of like an all-nighter, if you will. 
Uh, I did take a nap in between, so it should be all right. Let me give you a time of the date stamp. Uh, it is eight hours and seven minutes into the day of Sunday, October 9th, 2016. Yeah, it, things are moving along. I'm satisfied with the pace things are going at. Uh, one of the things that will be happening today and tomorrow is is the uh, this is the will be the second part of the move up to uh, Mars Alpha. That's uh, my uh, trailer up north. That's where my second um, uh, research uh, institute research uh, facility is, is, is going to start shaping up. Most of the stuff is outside that they'll be doing, so I just needed a place to uh, stay, put my stuff, and you know, sort of a base to sort of. Uh, branch off of, and so that's what happened. What, what happened? I got the that trailer in September. Went up, uh, uh, did so, the initial installation, basically uh, hydro and water. I have to do the do. I have to finish the hydro and water when I go up there on Monday and Tuesday. So that will be the fir the first thing, the first priority. Uh, well, Monday is kind of wash. This is a travel day. So Tuesday, Wednesday will be hydro and water respectively, depending on how long it takes to get done. So, let's say uh, Wednesday, at the uh, uh, Wednesday at the most, I should be done with, with everything, and then uh, I should, I'm going to be filming the uh, the installation of Hydro and Water, and then I'll be installation doing uh, filming and vlogging uh, other aspects of uh, maintaining the trailer, um, what to expect, what not to expect, and then we'll do that throughout the year. Uh, as I go, probably going once a month for about a week or so, and then uh, uh, sh show you what type of internet you can expect up there, uh, particularly if you're doing it using 4G or something like that. So, uh, this is kind of the experience that they'll, t they'll take you with, but it, uh, I'm not going to save too much now because we do have a wedding to to, uh, to shoot here, and uh, well, not to, but to, to vlog. I'll vlog at the wedding. There's two sections I want to vlog at. There's also a uh, part of the church I'll, I'll vlog in there as well. I'll uh, sort of do an introduction to, uh, uh, well, not an introduction, but sort of I'll talk more about Bass TV and uh, uh, some of the meditation. So, anyways, uh, uh, I think I'm going to leave that here for now, and uh, uh, I'll see you in the next segment. All right. Democratic Earth. Earth.